Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about how to control CPU usage in DB2 LUW using WLM and I'll be using DB2 11.1 version. So scenario is I have two users, DB2D is a bad user and want to limit his CPU to 25%. DB2P is a good user and gets 100% CPU. And to achieve this, what, what we need to do is we need to enable the WLM dispatcher at the instance level using this DB config parameter, DBM config parameter. And then we create a service class and give the CPU limit of 25, which means 25%. Create workload for that particular user and assign it to the service class and then grant usage of that workload to the user. So literally these four statements will achieve the the thing that we want to do and seriously you can you don't have to watch this video because you got the solution and you can go ahead and implement this in your environment and it's going to work but anyway if you still want to see how it works and you want to see a demo hang on and I'll continue so I have this database let me show you clear okay so I have okay Tom right clear again and I have this database sample which is currently active and I just want to connect it and show you if there are any service classes right now which are configured uh, if I clear it again maximize the screen and show you okay so everything seems to be default there is default workload default admin workload and default classes so no custom or not uh, any service class that we have created everything is enabled right now so what what I'll show you now is right i'll show you my cpu usage that's close to two percent uh, sorry less than two percent let's say two percent it's fluctuating but let's say two two percent and i have this bad user so i have a two core processor so right now i have a two core processor so what i'll do is like i have this query and they are exactly same so let me put this d let me change this to d and p okay so i'll put this here right and i'll put this here let me clear it and put it here and right so i have exactly same query only difference is in this it is db to d who is connecting in this it's a db to p both the users are going to do a count star on these three tables so it's a same query except who is running it so Without workload, everybody gets a full CPU. Okay, and if there are multiple workloads, then they get everybody shares the CPU. So I'll just show you uh, how it works. So right now, as I said, I have two cores CPU, and usage is fluctuating, but two percent, approx two percent. So let me try to run this query and see how much time it takes for bad guy called DB2D. So I'm running this. So, and when I hit this, right, I want to show you the CPU. It has gone to 50%. And see, pretty simple. I have two core CPU. This guy is using the 100% of one of the CPU, which means now I'm at 50%. So my other CPU is full free, right? So, and you can see other CPU is full free. And what I can do is I can now hit the other query, the, the good guy. And while I'm doing that, Right. Well, I'm doing that. I, I'll, so now DB2P is also connected. DB2D is connected. They both are running the same query. And you see my usage is at 100%. So he gets 100% CPU. He gets 100% CPU. He gets one core. He gets one core. And then my usage is completely 100%. I'm full used. Right. And my, what I want to do as part of this tutorial is like this guy should not be using 100% CPU. I want this guy to get a lesser CPU. That's, that's my aim. Anyway, so what we will do is like we'll see before changing that, be, before doing that, we'll see how much time this user is going to take to run the query and how much time this user is going to take to run the query. So let me just take it a little bit bigger. Right. Okay. And let's wait. It's not going to be a very long and I think they should finish as close to a minute or so. Yeah, so it took 97 seconds for this user 
and let's see how much time it takes for this user and we if we we see that we got this many record 9051884 and we'll see how much record this user gets and they should be exactly the same number of record because it's the same query i haven't created any table or view so syscat.tables into syscat.tables into syscat.tables that's what it is so let's wait and as soon as this guy finished you see we have now at 50% right so this guy also and you see both guy took exactly the same time 97 seconds and my cpu is back to 2% which means this guy also released the entire code same number of records same number of record this user this user take 97 take seconds take 97 seconds and now my cpu is normal so what i'll do now is i will create right i'll create before creating let me connect and show you that i did not had any service classes so let me clear this and show you so i did not had any custom service classes it's all default so three statements as i said three statements service class workload usage so let's do that right I'm going to connect and I'm going to do that and once that is done I'm going to fire the same query again to show you that I have a now a new workload and a new service class so let me clear the screen and run the same and you see I have a new workload called low CPU and a new service class called low CPU and what I'm going what I've done is like I have assigned this service class to DB to D user so now let's fire okay let's fire the same query and see how much CPU this guy is going to hit. Well, it's going to be the same query. So let me take this, put it here, and run it. The bad guy. Oh, hey, no, it has gone down to. Oh, right. So he has. So even after creating the service class and a workload and assigning, this guy is still able to hit the 50% and. And my target was, if you see the service class, the I gave 25, the CPU limit of 25. So what happened? Why is he using the entire code? Why is he hitting the 50%? That's something wrong. And this, the reason is pretty simple. I did not enable the DBM config parameter called WLM dispatcher. So, and that is the reason. So let's, let me show you to you. So let me show you. What is the setting so anyway this guy is it's going to take him 97 seconds or so so let me cancel this reset his connection clear the screen and let's show you so what is this parameter right so this is no no and i should have have this i should have had this parameter as yes and this is a completely online change so no instance reboot required so let's do this update this parameter and after updating i want to show you what that parameter looks like and it's I'm updating only one parameters so that's done S, yes, yes the so parameter has been changed and I'm not restarting the instance and now I'm going to run and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the bad guy first I'm going to wait for some time going to run the good guy and then I'm going to see the CPU and I want to see I want to see who finishes faster so let's run the bad guy first starting now right i need to have okay so right now starting okay and seven percent 25 and i gave him 25 and he hits close to 25 percent so he is using 25 percent of my cpu All right so now i have already wasted my some of my time and i'm going to still waste more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this query after 20 so i gave this slip 20 so after 20 seconds i'm going to run this query in the other session and this is the good guy and let's see what happens so i'm running this and 23 23 20 no, right so till the time i don't hit this 20 seconds right it's going to stay it so if this guy has not even started although i fired this command is sleeping for 20 seconds once the sleeping is done he's going to wake up and he's going to run and this is a good guy so yeah that's done and we'll see the cpu 74 right so what happened 25 percent by this guy 50 percent by this guy so 50, 50 plus 25 that's 75 and we'll wait and see who finishes faster this one who 
whom I just started or this one whom I started maybe I don't know a minute before so let's give it a minute and what I'm going to do is for few seconds I'm going to pause this video because I don't want you to waste your time and I'm going to come back so right so I come back it's still not finished both are running CPU is at 75% this guy is taking okay so this guy took 91 second and the CPU should drop to 25% so let me reset his connection yeah it has dropped right and let's see okay and as I can tell you I started this workload later I started I did some time pass wasted my time then after sleep 20 I started and this guy was able to finish the workload even before the this guy who started before is still not able to finish and this guy took 91 seconds previously it took 97 seconds now it has taken 91 seconds so now let's wait for this guy and see how much time this guy takes so give it a minute or so yeah so this guy took 189 seconds so it's the same query and i can prove you that it's the same query because you see the numbers 9051884990518849 so i'll just conclude what we did is we limited the cpu of this user we configured the wlm dispatcher we created a service class we created a workload we assigned that workload to this user and granted the usage and using this for statement we were able to control the cpu usage using wlm in db2 and life cannot get any simpler than this thank you for watching do pass in your comments and see you in next video thank you bye bye